Hi hey guys, uh, Yuno here and uh, I will show you how to rekey uh, SISA padlock uh, 285 uh, slash uh, 84 this is quite a strong uh, padlock and uh, it, uh, it is all also um, a very uh, resistant to picking due to its uh, intricate uh, keyway so okay I'll show you how to the tools you need is a uh, 2.5 uh, uh, hex wrench uh, 2.5 mm and uh, also a prying tools which is uh, uh, this came from uh, uh, discarded uh, HPC uh, pick tool which had already been broken I uh, had to bend it uh, like this so that it will slide through later I will show you that okay <coughs> so let's proceed <coughs> in order to rekey this you ha need to have a key right or you had pick it open all right so this is how this is the key for this okay you turn it like this and then the shackle will be extracted uh, in order to remove the shackle pulley you have to uh, do not uh, pull the shackle pulley then insert this no you have to uh, let the shackle hang one half of its part and then you can pry it by this uh, little tool here insert it there once it is inserted then you push the shackle out okay so that is ready removed okay right now uh, this is the pin uh, that holds that okay so to take it out you have to uh, remove the screw on the top from this hole here by a 2.5 hex screw Okay. Now, you see that that is the hex screw that uh, locks the uh, that locks the uh, the armor plate here. Okay, so take out the key and then pry this uh, thing open. Sometimes you need a small screwdriver for this. Okay. be careful for the bearing to fill down okay there is a two bearing on top of this this is uh, for anti-drilling okay this protection for drilling all right okay so that's okay now this is the armor plate for the cylinder now you all you need is uh, don't uh, take this down to remove the cylinder all you have to do is uh, keep it upright in position and so that the inside mechanism of this padlock is still intact so you just pull out the core and then you can rekey this uh, by re uh, rekeying this you don't need to take the whole plug out if you have the key right so all you have to do is insert the key there the right key and then turn it uh, 180 degrees okay okay as you see now the pin is aligned on this uh, bottom hole here that's where you're gonna repin that if you have a new key so you can take out the old key and then if you have a new key to rekey it then you insert it and uh, uh, check the uh, key uh, beatings on it and then choose the the right uh, pins on the on this uh, keying uh, if you are using keying kit uh, 07 
5500-01-0 well that is a complete uh, pin kit for this uh, kind of uh, uh, CISA hardwares like uh, uh, padlocks and uh, double profiles okay so once you had finished recaying uh, pinning it you just simply turn it another 90 degrees to return it back to its original position okay now you can take out the key and then you can insert it back so remember you did not alter the one at the bottom uh, the, the mechanism at the inside of this uh, padlock so all you have to do is insert The, uh, the cylinder there and then after that uh, you have to uh, put the armor plate and in which case uh, installing the armor plate it should be you know the opening of this is will correspond to the uh, opening of the keyway because uh, if you insert it uh, upside down your key will not in be uh, going through it so will not be uh, going in right it will be plugged so okay so the position is like this and then it's time to apply this uh, uh, armor uh, another armor plate install the two uh, anti-drilling uh, ball be uh, bearings insert it this way and then bring it down bring it in tighten the screw uh, the hex screw I mean okay tighten the hex screw okay now the hex screw is tightened and uh, next is uh, reinstallation of the spring which is uh, that uh, locks the the shackle together with this uh, pin here right okay so insert the shackle here inside I mean insert the spring inside okay manipulate it with the, any tools you have a small screwdriver or whatever okay then after that uh, the uh, the sec uh, second to the last piece is uh, inserting this uh, uh, locking uh, locking mechanism here. Okay. Now once it is there so it's time to insert uh, this uh, shackle here but you have to depress first the okay it has been depressed already so you see that bolt there it should be depressed first and then you insert this uh, shackle inside okay take this uh, prying tools out and then use your key to put the shackle in position and you have a rekeyed Sisa padlock to eight pipes last eighty four. Okay, folks. So, thanks for watching, and that's for today. Good day.